In high school, Alonzo Highsmith was one of the top defensive players in the nation. But when Highsmith arrived at the University of Miami, head coach Howard Schnellenberger had other plans for his prize recruit. He was a fine defensive football player of Christopher Columbus High School and uh, won uh, all state honors at that position. And it took me a long time to convince him that he could make a major contribution to our football team uh, at the fullback position. I remember that the first time I suggested it to him, he said no, he was a defensive player. The second time I suggested it to him, he, uh, he said he would prefer to play defense and he thought he could uh, do a lot for us at defense. But finally, when I said to him, Alonzo, uh, by playing fullback, you would help this football team a great deal. And his answer then was, well, coach, if it's going to help the football team, that's what I want to do. Whoa! Right up the gut. Alonzo Highsmith, the freshman from Miami, goes for 18 yards. And yet Highsmith rushed for a team-high 50 yards in Miami's national championship victory over Nebraska, the beginning of what would be a great Hurricanes career. He's a tremendous competitor. You know, he wanted to be the very best and and really worked that way. Uh, he was one of the best workers that we had on our football team and without question one of the real leaders of our football team with all the success that we had. He was such a hard working young man. I mean he just he just worked so hard in the weight room, out of the weight room, uh, of course in the classroom and uh, it, it, it really helped him as far as his success and the team success. He was he was probably the best fullback in the country that, you know his last two years in school. He'll drop it off on the screen and this is Highsmith, a good receiver coming out of the backfield. Breaks a tackle, comes across the 40, trying to get the corner turn inside the 30-yard line and almost broke it all the way. Highsmith rushed for nearly 2,000 yards in his Miami career, the third highest total in school history. But he was at his best near the goal line, scoring 25 career touchdowns. Alonzo set a work ethic for all the players that uh, uh, that the players followed. I mean, he was one that we all looked up to. Uh, he was one that. Uh, all the players wanted to uh, emulate and, and kind of be like Alonzo because uh, he could dominate uh, uh, a game. And Alonzo could have an intimidating style about him. I guess when we play Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl against the Boz, the Boz, the Boz and the crew, and um, just to see the, the coin toss, just to see the intensity in those guys' eyes, uh, I think was our captains were Jerome Brown, Winston Moss, and Alonzo Highsmith. And then the intensity that those guys had at the pregame toss, never forget it. Highsmith was the third selection overall in the 1987 NFL Draft and played five years with the Houston Oilers and the Dallas Cowboys. Today, he's in the ring as a professional boxer. But tonight, the former defensive end enters the UM Sports Hall of Fame as one of the greatest fullbacks in Hurricanes football history. Ladies and gentlemen, Alonzo Highsmith.